Hey guys, today we're going to talk about a very interesting topic, the corona. Anyways, poor attempt at a joke aside, this video is going to be a little more serious since we're going to focus on a disease that has a lot of people worried and has already killed several. So let's jump right into the video. As of recording of this video, there are close to 6,000 people confirmed infected and over 130 dead. Now, if these stats alarm you, don't worry, you aren't alone. But before we go into talking about the current novel coronavirus, we need to understand that this isn't the first time an outbreak like this happens in China. You see, back in 2003, there was a very similar outbreak from a coronavirus illness known as SARS. SARS stands for Severe Respiratory Acute Syndrome, which, as the name suggests, targets the human body, which in most cases leads to pneumonia. This infection, just like the 2019 coronavirus, spread rapidly and in just six months infected over 8,000 people and killed 800 of them. What we know about SARS is that the way it mainly spread was from droplets of coughs and sneezes from people who were infected. We also know that these droplets have a range of three feet, so it's very important that we as a society should try to minimize the way that these viruses spread by trying to practice being more hygienic and to try to keep our fluids to ourselves. Anyways, the origins of SARS first started with bats, which then infected small mammals known as civets. It's then believed that these civets went on and infected humans. We know this because the SARS virus was found in several civets in a wet animal market in Guangdong, China. These wet animal markets are highly controversial since they tend to be very narrow and include live animals, uncooked meat, and fish all together. Experts believe that these markets provide a great environment for many bacteria and viruses to jump from wild animals to exposed meats to then us humans. Now that we know a little bit about the last outbreak, what exactly is the coronavirus and what's going on with the 2019 coronavirus? Well, as the CDC states, the coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that are found in many different animals such as cattle, camel, cats, and bats. In very rare cases, these viruses spread from animals to humans and then mutates to be able to spread from person to person. The coronavirus we're talking about today is just another one of these viruses and is very similar to SARS. In fact, genetic sequencing of the virus shows that there's a 79.5% similarity between this virus and the previously mentioned SARS virus. So it's really no surprise that China's trying to build a thousand bed hospital as quickly as possible to try to contain the virus and to help treat those with it. Further genetic sequencing also showed a 96% similarity to bat coronavirus, which has led to a bat origin theory. Now, even though I previously mentioned that wet animal markets are a great environment for viruses and bacteria to easily move around, the origins of the disease is still unknown with many experts now suggesting that the virus actually didn't originate in these markets. Now, some of you might have seen this trending video of an Asian woman a bat and thinking this is how the disease started. Well, that's inaccurate since the woman in that clip wasn't even in China and in fact she's the host of a travel show eating a dish in Palu. So yeah, stop spreading that clip and help a boy out and spread this one. Anyways, the main way the virus has been spreading is from people that don't even know they have the virus yet. What makes the virus very difficult to diagnose too is that the virus has very similar symptoms to your everyday common cold. Such symptoms include fever, runny nose, coughing, headaches, and sore throats. The disease is also known to cause bronchitis and pneumonia, usually in people with lower immune system, infants, and older adults. The World Health Organization's Director General, whose name I've tried to pronounce several times but couldn't do it, so I'm just going to add his name here and a picture of him right here, stated that those who have died from the disease had pre-existing conditions such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and high blood pressure. Now, if you are wondering how we're treating people with the disease, well, currently there's no specific treatment, but doctors are focused on alleviating the symptoms of it and are currently focused on researching the effectiveness of antivirals. Which, for my non-bio major friends, antivirals are a class of medication used to fight specifically viral infections instead of bacterial ones. There are also reports that some companies are already working on a vaccine, but don't get your hopes up because vaccines do tend to take a while to develop. So should you be worried about the virus? Well, if you don't live in China or have any plans to travel to the country, then there really isn't any need to be so worried about the disease. The World Health Organization hasn't declared this an international emergency as most cases are reported in China. And the few cases that have been reported outside of China are from people who have recently traveled from there and are currently isolated in hospitals. China is also currently limiting travel to avoid further spread of the disease and has banned all trade of wildlife until further notice. 
In conclusion, unless we see many, many more people outside of China infected, I wouldn't be so worried about the virus. And if you're from the United States, I would suggest worrying more about the flu and getting your shots. Now, after watching this video, are you still worried about the virus? And if so, please comment down below and tell me why. Also, check out my socials as this video was actually suggested to me by my Twitter followers. Thanks again for watching, guys. And hey, if this video helped you understand a little more of the infamous coronavirus, please help support my channel by hitting a like, subscribing for more, and showing this video to anyone who would find this video useful. Thanks.